Hello, and welcome back to Learn JavaScript with Creative Coding. I am Dr. Abstract, and we are starting a new module on data. And that will take us into PHP and MySQL as well to see how we can store data. For instance, here's a form we can uh, count. How high can we count? Change some colors. And then we can submit the form here and have it show up in our database. So we'll be looking through all of this stuff as to how to make that happen. But before we get into the form, and we're going to see that both on the canvas and from the HTML DOM because the techniques are the same, basically. But before we get into the techniques, uh, let's just talk about data and what that is. So data is the X and Y of this circle, the X and Y of the rectangle. It is the color of the circle and uh, the size of it, the radius. But if I were to give you that data and say it was like 10, 7, 40, red, we wouldn't really know what that is. It's, it's the endpoints. It's, it is data indeed, but what we're missing is uh, metadata. We need to know what that data is. And so that usually comes in the form of an ID. We would say radius is equal to, and that's sometimes called a property. So there's a radius property, or it's called a variable, var x, variable x is equal to 10. Then we know what the data is. And the combination of that metadata and the data is called information. So information is when we have both what the data is and the data. So sometimes we get those terms uh, mixed up a little bit. And what we're trying to do here in the series is clarify those and talk about them. Um, all right, let's drop back to some code and see the information that is needed to form this circle. Do you like that? We want to bring form to the circle. So information informs us. So if we're uh, passing information into a form, get it? <laughs> a form, wow, <laughs> how about that? Then that will inform us. It, it gives us form to that data. So I like thinking of information in a very visual way like this, like how would we form a circle? Uh, however, we often think of information as being just text. And I suppose that's true as well. It's sort of an abstract way of, of looking at it, but this is a very concrete way of looking at it. So uh, with that introduction, let's reduce this down here and we'll pop on in to uh, the code that made this. So we're in a Zim template. You can grab that at zimjs.com and then go to the code section and copy the template. Now we've already made a few things. We're not really talking about Zim uh, now. We're talking about data, information, and actually how to get it into the database with uh, PHP, MySQL, and that kind of stuff. So we're not going to really concentrate on what Zim specifically is doing here. Uh, not only that, but we've got two sets. We'll pro provide a zip file of all these. You'll be able to find those. Uh, we've got two sets of all of our pages. One set, let's have a look here, shall we? Uh, information or intro. This is the intro. So here is the intro with just the code in a sense. And here is an intro with comments. So there's us talking about data. Data is usually a value like 10 or blue, but there's more to it than that. And so we can read about what that more is. There's information. So some of the things that I've just said, here's examples, how we're going to store the techniques, how we choose data, <laughs> etc. And then we get to the code. So we're going to do that through all of the lessons uh, for this module is we'll have the code without the comments. And then, well, we've got some comments in here, but then we'll have larger comments, almost like a textbook um, inside a 
inside of comments uh, in one called intro underscore comments or whatever it may be. All right, so let's get back to it here though. And that allows us to uh, talk to you without you having to read too much and without it looking like too much. This is the information to form a circle. So we need to know its shape, that it's a circle. We need to know its color, x and y. But that's not the data. The date, well, actually, the circle is the data, I guess. We stored, and this would be more like Kant's shape. Uh, oops. And <laughs> one more, there we go. Here is the data red, 150, and 150. So these guys are the data. What's on the right hand side of the equal sign is the data. And then this is information about the data, metadata. The whole stuff is called information. So sometimes we schmozzle up all those words. I think I just did it. This is information. This is metadata. This is data. <laughs> you wouldn't necessarily call this information. It would be lacking. It would just be color. You know, <laughs> what information is that? What are you telling me? <laughs> the color. I, I don't know. Um, so without the other part, <laughs> the data, we, we don't know. So both, both sides need each other, and that's why they often uh, come together. All right, so we've got this stuff uh, showing up on the stage. We don't usually separate it out like that in Zim. We combine it all with some chaining, so that's what it would normally look like for us. But you can see that all of that information is still there. Now with Zim, we can, uh, the idea is now we want to store this somewhere so that when we come back, we form those shapes again in the same place if, if we so desire. Uh, normally, if we don't have any information, let me show, or we don't store the information, let's show you what that, what, what happens there. So, uh, right, that should be good. I'll come back here and refresh. Okay, so I refresh again, and there they are, just always sort of starting off at the beginning. Let's have a look. Um, oh, but we can drag them, so let's try this again. Uh, the idea is, is we can then drag these around. And ready? We're going to refresh. We'll come back later. Refresh. Ah, oh, they didn't get remembered. So, uh, so we can drag them around. Oh, we're missing the data. See what I mean? And it might be nice if we were to make a collage or do something here. Maybe when we come back, it would be nice to see that again. And so we need the information so that we can form this again in the same place. Okay, so um, what we have in Zim is a thing called bind, where we can bind the information to something that will save it. There's a couple different places that we can save. One is this place called local storage, and that's basically just a data on the user's computer. <clears throat> It's like a cookie if you're familiar with cookies. Uh, and so uh, what bind does by default here in Zim, if we scroll down, reactivate this code. We make a new bind object and then we tell the bind object that we would like to bind or the circle. We're going to call it a reference of a circ. For us to bind, we use this thing called JSON, JavaScript Object Notation, and that turns everything into a string. And so we're using strings here to sort of help us with that data. So our ID is circ, and the properties we want are x, y, and the level. It turns out that if you uh, put that like that and then refresh, uh, do we turn this back on? Yeah, I did save it. Hang on. Oh, I did. Uh, saved. Refresh. Hopefully this works. Otherwise, something's gone awry. Refresh. Yeah, okay. So you see now we're, we've got our data coming in, and when I refresh, it shows up in the same place. <clears throat> uh, if I don't hit the home button or whatever I hit there. Okay, so the thing is, is when you drag like that, it pops it up to the top. So it was a little bit awkward if it, if it didn't remember what level it was at. So now the circle's on top. Circles on top, rectangles on top, rectangles on top in the refresh. All right, hopefully you can hear my clicks of the refreshes. So that's called a level property. These are the properties that we want to remember, that we want to store on local storage. 
when we press up on the circle, that means we finished dragging it. So when we pressed up on the circle, we're calling a send function here. And then we request our bind object to send the information to whatever the connection is. And here we have the connection being local storage. So that's kind of neat. Uh, now, how did it get the information from local storage? So when we refreshed, where did it get the information from? When you bind it, it will take the latest information. So bind sort of says, oh, wait a minute, you're asking for circle. I have some information from local storage on that. And it puts it in there. So we don't need to call a from at this point. So there's a to, which sends the data to, and there's a from, which collects the data back. So this is binding. It takes care of a few things for us and works a little bit um, automatically. It's kind of cool. And as you can see, that binding is allowing us to refresh. Shall we do it one more time? Refresh. And hey, those things are in the same place. So um, that's great, but it can only be seen on this computer, as a matter of fact, in this browser. Now, even if we close the browser and open up the browser again, it still shows. That's kind of neat. So it remembers it even through different sessions. So um, that's uh, what local storage does. There's also a session storage, which only remembers for the session. And when you close the browsers, it goes away. And that's just like local storage. So I mean, you can do local storage and session storage without binding here. And it's very easy to do. It's just storing it on an object. And so, um, so be it. Uh, the thing is, though, that can only be seen on the uh, our computer locally. What happens if we want somebody else to see these things as they are? If we want to share a collage, for instance, so we make this nice collage and say, oh, look at my funny person, oh, and another person over here, and we put faces on them. How do we send that data to the other person? So the way we do that, uh, the hint is uh, this stuff right here is a database. So we have a form, and what I'd like to do is take you through um, some forms uh, in HTML and also in Zim. But uh, we'll probably do that in the next video when we come back. Does that sound good? So this has been oh, Creative Coding! Yeah, so come on back for the next one, zimjs.com. Ciao for now. Hey!